I'm backstage at UFC 239, joined by Amanda Nunes, who is still your women's bantamweight champion. I need to preface this interview by saying Amanda is a little bit under the weather, a little bit of a sore throat, so I, yep. I don't want to make you talk too much. Um, but you just told me off camera, that was awesome. I mean, it was awesome, and it seemed like you were able to use Holly Holmes tools against her. She's known for that head kick. Head kick. Was that part of the plan? Yes, definitely. I know she's not going to find the time for throw. And she never fight nobody like me, move like that. You know, she really have to take her time to get the time to really try to catch me. But I know she never, she, she don't have a training plan fight like me. She don't, never fight nobody like me. I know it's going to be a huge trouble for her. And I know when I saw I do a hook and cross, she always go in the same way. And I, I listen to my coach and they say like, next, finish with the kick. And it was exactly what happened. And I always be able to knock her out and I'm very happy. Yeah, you should be very happy. You followed it up with that beautiful head kick that finished the fight. How did you feel in that first couple of minutes in there with her? Because she is a mover. She kind of like backs up a lot. It's like she's riding a bike sometimes in there. Yeah, I, I fight completely different, different Holly tonight. I thought she's gonna move it. I thought I knew she like wanna ha wanna ha get her time to try to clean she and use the the cage to gas me out. But I, when I step in there, I look at her face. I saw how nervous she was. I saw she no move like she she always does. She was completely different fighting tonight. And then for that reason, making me my style got better. You know, I knew she's gonna show up different. Because it's weird when you when you don't find your time in the in the fight, you start like doing things you're not supposed to do, and it was exactly what Holly did it tonight. And I hear her coach as well, you know. And when when I hear and she knows always be able to do what they they tell her to do, and I say, hmm, she's nervous. I know now I'm gonna do, and then I start like realizing more things, and then putting putting things together and work about well. Yeah, it did work out well. We spoke yesterday about how just relaxed you always are before these fights, and that certainly played out for you and your advantage. Um, the fact that you still hold these two belts, I mean, it means a lot to you because, you know, a lot of times people will win and they're like, oh, somebody else with my belt. These, these are important for you to have on. I mean, you're the only woman champ champ. Can you just kind of put into words what these accomplishments mean to you when you reflect on them? Means a lot. This is my baby, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I wake up every day, you know, all my belts in my fireplace. Right when I open my door, when I wake up, I see I see the belts there. And I always, every morning, I say like, I want to have you guys here forever. And this means a lot, you know. There's a lot of work that I put on, you know, leave a lot of things behind to to follow my dream. And you know, like this is like a huge accomplishment in my life. I'm I'm enjoying every single day. I feel like I deserve. You know, I'm not a bad person. You know, I I, I feel like I'm gonna have it forever this thing. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be able to take those things from me. And then I'm gonna retire and defeat it and with my belt. Yeah, because I mean. When we look at your fights, it's like, who can challenge her next? I mean, who can challenge you next? Is there anyone out there that you're like, that would be a fun fight? Or is it, is it kind of a void right now? And honestly, when I come back home, I will go back to the gym and then get better every day for nobody be able to, to figure out my game. And yeah, I, I feel like I really in front of all those guys in this division, you know? And of course, this is MMA, you have to keep your, eyes open for all those girls. They they are hungry, you know, but uh, I will keep it doing, you know, I will keep evolving with this sport. And I'm not gonna sleep in anyone in this division. I always gonna watch all those, those girls fight and I will keep my eyes on. Yeah, well, we cannot wait to see what is next for you. Congratulations, so deserved. You and Nina have just had fights very close together. You deserve a vacation. Go have some fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wayne.